Welcome to Deep Thought. Don't go back to that previous reality. Now, I've been talking about like how this crisis is making people face um, reality, period. And it's making people, it's making those masks come off. People finding out their relationships ain't what they thought they were. Their living situation ain't what they thought they was. It was shooting in some, some cases, maybe their whole entire life. They rethinking things, right? And now this crisis, or the economic thing, that's going to be a while. But, you know, this is, I mean, for the time being anyway, for the time being, this uh, pandemic is looking seasonal. For the time being. Very key. We don't, ultimately we don't know, but it's looking seasonal right now. All right? And, you know, they're going to open up these businesses. I mean, some, some many jurisdictions, many states are saying, you know what, we we just going to slowly open this stuff up. Because you have to, because there's only a certain point you can go before the economy gets just to a point where we'd be dealing with a depression for many years, right? Here's the important thing. Now, you're going through it. You're probably getting some changes. You're finding out about, you know, your relationship was bad. Your situation is bad. Now, when this is over, the, at least the pandemic part, or at least when it's under, like, reasonable control where people can work, you don't want to go back to their previous reality. And I'm saying that because a lot of times people will do that. They'll be shown a new reality. They'll get that mask off briefly. And they'll go right back to what they're doing. You know? Like, I remember um, I went to this real deep retreat. I mean, deep. It was like a life-changing type of retreat. And, I mean, and when I say life-changing, I mean, you could do... It would be a popular movie if we did a movie just on that particular retreat one of the most powerful experiences in my life when I say life life I mean but one thing it was hard to go back because I remember after that retreat I had to go back into work that was the most difficult thing I mean the retreat was so powerful and I knew I knew I would have to put that mask on back on for the job that almost I almost, I almost like resigned from that job. And it wouldn't have been a two-week notice type of resignation either. Because that's how I was feeling. It took everything. It took everything in me to go back to that. And I was I had, I had some sadness because I said I had to put that mask back on. Because at this retreat, the mask was totally off. You know, the mask was totally off. And I mean, it was powerful. There was a point during that retreat I actually shed tears, and I don't cry easily. I do not cry easily. I could probably count the number of times I cried as an adult on one hand. Like I've had relatives who died and I ain't shed one tear. That's how deep it is. Close relatives, I ain't shed any tears. So for me to be at an event where I cried, where I could just take off that mask, and it was like I'm feeling powerful, I'm feeling empowered, I'm feeling like closer to my divine self, I was like, yeah, but then I had to go right back into a situation. It's like going back into the matrix. That's tough. In fact, another example of that, and I'm, I'm just sharing, and the reason I'm sharing examples of me, I'm just letting you know, I'm walking this path right along with y'all. I'm walking it right along with y'all, so I'm letting you know my stuff so you could either avoid it or have a, a perspective. So I remember when um, I used to work full-time jobs, but I also used to vend on weekends. At different places, you know, and it was powerful. I was totally free doing that. That was what I was supposed to do. I'm supposed to be the boss. I'm supposed to have my own business, but and I would make money, everything, have fun, laugh, be fully into who I am. But then I had to put that mask back on to work, and that's one of the reasons I don't work for anybody now. That mask, trust me, when I say there was a person, a profound personality difference between me when that was all I was doing. And me now is no joke. Seriously, I, I approach life and everything. Because I had to put that mask on then. All right? But I had to go back to it. Now, in the situation we got now, it's a new reality. People are going to face stuff. There's going to be a lot of breakups. People are going to be on new jobs. You know, they're going to spend money. It's like everything is going to change. Everything. All right? 
how we interact is going to change. It's going to change. We can't, um, you know, whatever reality you came out of, if it's a bad one, you can't go back to that. Now, if it was a great one, then let's be real. In fact, if it was a great one, shoot, you just flowing on through. <laughs> shoot, you just like, oh, yeah, nothing changed. I mean, like, I'm flowing on through. Because I ain't going to lie. For myself personally, right now, I have only thing I've just noticed is just I can't go to the gym. I can't go to the gym because a lot of other stuff, a lot of other stuff, I'm, I didn't get into it. I wasn't, I wasn't a bar harper or anything or going to clubs or anything. Oh, I can't buy any clothes now, but trust me, I got like, I could probably, <laughs> I could probably start an online, go to eBay and like sell a bunch of stuff, shoes and everything, right? So I ain't bothered by it, but somebody else, they might have been in that bad relationship, you know. You know, bad relationship, bad job situation, bad social circle, everything. You know, and you behaved a certain way, you had a certain mask. And now with the change, and you know, when this pandemic dries down, they, they open up, you can't go back to that. And the thing is, sometimes people would be comfortable going back to that, because we go for... By nature, we go for what was comfortable. We stick with what was comfortable. We knew what to expect there. That's, see, that's the only scary thing about a new reality. You have no idea what's coming. Even if it's good for you, you have no idea. You don't know what it come up. But see, that previous reality, you learn to cope. And you develop coping mechanisms. And it's hard to get rid of. You get so used to it. You know, it's like a hypothetical like, say uh, you had a situation where you had a bad hip or something, and you had a bad hip for years, or a bad knee for years. And I know some people have had, like, for years, and you cope to how to move with it, how to dress with it and everything, but then you get it repaired. It's still hard. You're still used to dealing with that coping thing, and that's what it is with many people. But you can't go back. You can't go back. You know, if you had a bad knee for years, you can't go back to how you were walking, how you were dressing, how you were dealing with stuff. Your knee working good, there ain't no pain there. Well, at least physical pain. You might have some psychosomatic pain where you think there's some pain there. But that's only your spirit holding on to that previous reality. Now, you got a new reality now. Embrace it. Embrace it fully. Don't go back. Don't go back. You know? Even if it's a mate, you go away from them. Now, sometimes, you know, let's be real. When, it, when you're talking about mates, a lot of times they do get back together. But if that happens, don't go back to the reality they re represented them. Because they could have gone through their own thing where they took off their mask. And you might actually like them without the mask better. But if it's not that situation where they're the same old, same old person, don't go back to it. If you can, you got furlough for a job, really look for something new because a lot of people are in bad jobs anyway. Look Actively look for something new. You know, you don't want to go back to it. The situation, maybe even some friendships, don't go back to it if they were bad for you. Deal with, do with a new set. You can, if you made old friends, you can make new ones. Whatever the situation, but you can't go back to that previous reality. You have to keep growing because once you get something new, it needs to grow. You need to nurture it. You need to water it. Because you don't want to be in that same situation again. And a lot of people, they keep going back in circles. You want to do this thing which people in my circle call spiraling. That means you're constantly going up. You are constantly going up. And you're going in a positive direction. Don't go, when you spiral, you always want to spiral up. Don't spiral down. And I've seen that with many a person. So... You know, keep rising. That's why I always say keep rising. I always say keep rising and transforming. That's the whole meaning behind it. You want to keep rising. So, yeah, you were in that reality, but you risen above it. Keep rising. Keep spiraling. Keep transforming. Peace and blessings.